medians. Our question says, for triangle ABC, where A is the point negative 3, negative 2, B is the point 1 and 6, and C is the point 9 and 0, determine the equation of the median from vertex C. So before we talk about what a median is, the first thing I'm going to do is plot my points A, B, and C. So A is the point negative 3, negative 2. So on my x-axis, I find negative 3. On the y-axis, negative 2. And there's my point A. And then I do the same thing with B. So B is 1 and 6. I go to 1 on the x-axis, 6 on the y-axis, and there's point B. And then point C is the point 9 and 0. So on the x-axis, I find 9. And then I just stay on the axis because it's 0. And then what I'm going to do is take my ruler and connect those three points to make a triangle. So a median is a line that is drawn in a triangle from the corner that it mentions. So vertex, a vertex is just a corner. So from vertex C, so from this corner, to the midpoint of the opposite side. So a median cuts a triangle in half so that you would have an equal area on either side. So it goes from the corner to the midpoint of the opposite side. So what we would need to do is find the midpoint of the opposite side, which is AB. So to find the midpoint, the midpoint is halfway in between those two points. Uh, so for drawing purposes, I'm just going to measure AB, see how long it is, and then find where halfway would be. So if I measure, this comes out to be about 3.5 centimeters. So half of 3.5 centimeters is 1.75 so I'm going to find 1.7 and then just go halfway in between 1.7 and 1.8 so right there I'm going to mark that with an M for the midpoint so our median oops, should go from point C to the op the midpoint of the opposite side just like that so this is the median So what we want to do is we want to find the equation of that median. So before I actually start doing any calculations, I like to follow the GRASP method and make a plan. So we're going to start by stating what was given, what's required, and then the analysis is going to be the big part that we're going to work on here. So G for given. The things that were given in the question were the points A, B, and C. So I'm going to write those down. And then personally, I like to just make note of which one is the corner. So we're doing it through vertex C. So I'm just going to make a little box around C or put an asterisk next to it, something so that I know which one is the one that the corner is. So that's my given. That's what the G stands for. And then required. So what is the question asking for? So in this case, what's required is the equation of the median. And we'll be specific, so I'm going to say through vertex C. And then the analysis. This is the part where we're going to stop and think about what we need to do to find the equation of the median. So we're going to think about how we drew the median, what information we would need to know to be able to do that, um, and make a plan that we can follow to actually do the calculations. So for my analysis, um, I'm going to start with what we're looking for. And we're looking for the equation of the median. Is there a formula that we can use for the equation? 
Yes, there is. We usually use the formula y equals mx plus b whenever we're doing the equation of a line. So then what I do is I ask myself, in the formula y equals mx plus b, what do I need to know to be able to actually write the final equation of my line? And the answer is we need to know the slope and we need to know the y-intercept. So I need to find the slope. And we also need to find y-intercept. Now, to find the slope, is there a formula for slope? And the answer is yes, there is a formula for slope. There are actually two formulas that we could use for slope. We can either do that slope is delta y over delta x, or we could use that slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And it really just comes down to preference, whichever one you prefer the most. So I like to do the delta y over delta x. In order to do delta y over delta x, or in order to use the slope formula, what do I need, right? So we always look at the formula and ask ourselves, what do we need to be able to use that formula? And the answer here is I need x's and I need y's. And those x's and y's are going to come from some points. So I need two points, point one, that's going to give me x1 and y1 and point 2, which is going to give me my x2, my x2, y2. So where are these points coming from? If we're trying to find the equation of this median, those two points have to be points on this line. So one of the points is point C that was given in the question. So one of my points here is going to be point C, which is the point 9 and 0. And the other point is the midpoint. Right? So it goes through the midpoint and the corner. So those are the two points that I either know or should be able to find. So I'm going to write the midpoint. And we're going to try to be specific. It is the midpoint of AB. Now, how can I find the midpoint of AB? I could look at my graph. We did measure, and I found that halfway here appears to be the point 1, negative 1, and positive 2. But just in case you didn't know, there is a way to calculate midpoint using the midpoint formula. So I want to do that as part of our example just to go through the process. So the formula for the midpoint is x1 plus x2 over 2, comma, y1 plus y2 divided by 2. And it is a point, so it is written with brackets and a comma in between. So to calculate the midpoint, we are trying to find the midpoint of AB. What do I need to calculate midpoint? I need point A and I need point B. I need two points to be able to do this. So we're going to try to find point A and point B. Or here I'm just going to write point 1, point 2. The first point is going to be point A, which I know from the question is negative 3, negative 2. And our second point is going to be point B which is negative, oh, nope, 1, positive 1, and 6. So now that I have the two points, I can find the midpoint, I can use the midpoint and this point to find the slope. On the other side, we are missing y-intercept. Uh, to calculate y-intercept, there isn't a specific formula for that. We actually just use y equals mx plus b. And in order to solve for b, I need to know the slope. And I need to know an x and a y, so a point. So the slope, we would already have calculated over here. So we are just going to use this slope when we're doing the y-intercept. And for the point, it has to be a point somewhere on the line. So we either can do point M or we can do point C, one or the other, but it has to be a point on the line. So I like to use C because it was the one given. So I'm going to use the point 9 and 0. And that's my plan. That's how we're going to try to find the equation of the median. So this is what takes the longest, is trying to break down what we're doing, write down the formulas that we're going to use, and then doing the calculations is actually the easier part. So that's going to bring us to S. So we've done G given our required A. This is my analysis. And then S is for solution. So I am going to actually now try to find the things that I planned out. So I like to start at the bottom on the left and work my way back up. So I am going to start with 
the midpoint. I'm going to take my midpoint formula and calculate the midpoint of AB. Now, since the formula was written in my plan, I could write the formula down a second time, or I could just put the numbers in since the formula was already included somewhere in my solution. I think I'm going to write down the formula just for practice. So x1 plus x2 divided by 2, y1, y2 divided by 2. Now, the two points that we're using, we already said that this was point 1. Each point has an x and a y. So this would be x1, y1. And here, this has an x and a y, so this is going to be x2, y2. So I'm going to substitute in uh, x1, negative 3, plus x2, which is 1, divided by 2. And then y1 is negative 2. y2 is positive 6, so plus 6, divided by 2. And then all I have to do is calculate. So 3 plus 1, negative 3 plus 1, is negative 2 over 2. Uh, negative 2 plus 4 is, sorry, negative 2 plus 6 is 4 over 2. So negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1, and 4 divided by 2 is 2. So I now have the midpoint... And this is the midpoint of AB, and it's the point 1, negative 1, and 2. So here, I now know that the answer to this part is negative 1 and 2. Right? So as we work our way back up the chart, we found the midpoint. So now we're going to find the slope using the two points. So six, sorry, 9 and 0, point C, and negative 1 and 2, which is my midpoint. So down here, I'm going to do my slope formula. So m is delta y over delta x. To find delta y and delta x, uh, I like to make a table of values using my two points and find the differences. So the first point is the point 9 and 0. The second point is the point negative 1 and 2. And then what I'm going to do is look at the differences. So how did I get from 0 to 2? We added 2. How did I get from 9 to negative 1? We subtracted 10. So delta y is the one on this side, so that's 2. Delta x is the one on this side, which is negative 10. And I can reduce that. A positive divided by a negative gives me an overall negative answer here. And 2 and 10 are both divisible by 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 10 divided by 2 is 5. So my slope is negative 1 over 5. So I now know up here on my plan, I'm going to mark out that this is now negative 1 over 5. Alright, so we found our midpoint to get the slope. We now have the slope, which is part of what we need for the equation. The only other thing we're missing is our y-intercept. So for the y-intercept, we need the slope, which is negative 1 over 5, and a point, so the point 9 and 0. So I'm going to take those and calculate my y-intercept. So I'm going to do y equals mx plus b, I know that the slope is negative 1 over 5. I know that the point is 9 and 0. So 9 is the x, 0 is the y. So 9 is the x goes here, 0 is the y goes there, plus b. Now, 9 is secretly a 9 over 1. So when I go to multiply, negative 1 times 9 is negative 9, and 5 times 1 is 5, and the 0 is still on this side, and this is still plus b. So to find b, I want to take negative 9 over 5 to the other side by doing the opposite. So instead of subtracting 9 over 5, we are going to add 9 over 5. So 0 plus 9 over 5 is 9 over 5, which is our y-intercept. So that's my b. So I now know up here that my y-intercept is 9 over 5. So the last thing I need to do is just write my equation using my slope, using the y-intercept, that's going to be the P, my presentation of my answer. We're just going to try to fit it in over here since I'm out of space. I'm going to say, therefore, my equation here is Y equals negative one-fifth, that's my slope, X plus 9 over 5. That's my Y-intercept. So Y equals negative one-fifth X plus 9 over 5. And that is the equation of a median.